Hi guys, uh, I need to show you in this video for my project, you know, we started to do the uh, the metal wall panels for the siding for this building, you can see it's a good size and you know, at the bottom here, just to show you, I have here a drip edge you can see drip edge it is like uh, two inches stick out from the building and here at the bottom here I have asphalt binder you know so I put, I put asphalt binder and I, I will pay the second layer asphalt surface or asphalt topping but here when when we installed the the roof drain pipe you know uh, like three months ago we figure out the you know the like the two inches that metal stick out or the inch and half stick out from the from the concrete because you know that that will be against the concrete for slab so just to let you know you need to figure out that like two inches or inch and half and also you can see here that is good the other one the other one is good that's one thing you need just you just yeah and still the pipe like two inches two inches out of the concrete you will be good because that metal is like you can see corrugated panels that is inch and half so if you do it two inches will be good and here you can see we use the the bolt same color it came from the factory with the same color and you can see here all the screws are lined up you know make sure line up because that is the finished work you know and uh, yeah you can see so what we did here we laid we laid the metal wall panels on the ground and we started we started two inches from the bottom and two inches from the top and then we went each two foot so we we drill the holes on the ground so when we laid when we laid them the metal wall panels we have already holes so we just just tie this the screw here and you can see it is same finished color okay guys so here here i have mechanical louver and over the mechanical louver so you can see framing around the mechanical louver you can see and that will show you here main door like here we need the important thing you need to know we need to install the metal door frame first and then do the the metal wall panel second so it came with the clips you can see so it came with the clips so yeah that's straight so we, we bent it here with a little screw here so we install it you can see we put three in each side one two three same thing here one two three and it is a plump and level we check it perfect and after that here we we did the, the metal trim and what we did here you know you know he, here here we you have a seam between between the the metal frame and the the metal frame for door so what what we did you know i just move it half inch you can move it half inch or three quarter inch so nobody will see the seam back no no need to do caulking so here it looks better you can see we covered the seam so you, you just need to let the trim cover the door frame half inch so nobody will see the joint between the the metal frame and the metal door frame okay that's something i need you to make sure here you can see you have a overhead garage door opening and you can see here we cover it you know we cover that because that is finished work you know the metal come this way and turn and you know the door will be here 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 i lowered i lowered the slab you can see inch and half there i have a slope here a good fall so when we got rain all the rain will go out of the slab yeah so when you pour slab for building just lower it and i installed the metal angle here it is embed metal so that's and here you can see I have I have the steel bollard same height outside inside and it is like one inch one inch here you can see you can see it is one inch out of the 
door frame edge so if you are if you like this video please just subscribe and uh, you will receive a new video i will upload more videos about construction work if you are interested in construction work just subscribe this video thank you guys bye